brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Some of you don't like the advice. So what what you're going to find with the Ramsey bunch, George, Jade included, is that we're here trying while you're sitting at home bitching. An 86-year-old woman called in, and she was in a, a bad situation. She was making about 1200 bucks from Social Security, but her expenses are 1500 and she's been using her credit card to cover the gap. So now she's in 30 k of credit card debt. She has a, a paid-for home and a, a you know car, an old Buick or something that was worth probably nothing, a few grand. She's asking us for help. What does she do? So we were trying to lay out some suggestions for her of, you know, maybe downsizing in home to pay off the credit card debt. Maybe she said she was working up until she was 80. And I said, could you do something part time to cover the gap? George told an 86 year old woman to get a job. When you say it that way, See, George, it hits differently. No wonder you got hate. Exactly. So I wanted Dave's take on the clip. We're gonna the team so edited funny. this down to about you know two minutes of our advice. I want to get right, Dave's all right, take. All let, right, let's 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 watch your edited version here. Are you at the point where you could move in with your daughter? I could, but I'm not too sure about that. You know, personalities. I mean, it's well. The problem is, let's say I if know. I snap I'm my fingers and got you out of credit card debt, you're going to be back in thirty thousand dollars of credit card debt because you're using the credit cards to. To float your life and expenses, could you downgrade it in house? Is you know, if you sold it for two fifty, well, could you go you buy a place did. for two hundred? I could, but I, I'm eighty six years old. I mean, I know, but we really also didn't stupid. set ourselves up for a bright future in retirement. God, no, George. so this is part of it. Is we got to deal with the ramifications. No, I, was just, I was a single mother since I was nineteen years old with no no child support, and I worked until I was almost eighty. Is there something you could do to make a little bit of extra money right now? I, I think we might need to find a little heartless. part-time job to, to clean up this debt and increase our income well, if you're yeah. able-bodied. It's not fun, yeah. but this might be your only option other than selling the house and downgrading to an apartment that you pay cash for, which allows you to clean up the credit card debt, lowering your ex right. monthly expenses. Right. Well, I have leukemia. I've had it for 21 years. Oh. I don't really have a, I really don't have a high. Uh, energy level and I have a dog and then he told her to sell the dog and sell the horse Actually, and sell the house and Jay get a did job. offer that up so, maybe yeah. we need to rehome the dog because yeah. yeah. it was costing her 200 bucks a month for yeah. the dog expenses and uh Oof. so okay <laughs> uh Let's get Papa Dave's take it would be it would, it, it's a lot of fun to make fun of y'all but um but truthfully here's the situation okay um I mean the poor lady what a mess. Now, did I get the numbers right that she's paying, she has 1200 a month coming in, but she needs 1500 including paying her credit card payments? I believe that included her minimum payment on the credit card. I think it did. Okay. I think when I watched the whole clip back, I think I saw that. So so basically what she's doing is, is she's borrowing money on a credit card to pay the credit card mathematically. Because if she just didn't pay the credit card, she could barely eke by, Correct. Like if she just ignored the credit card. Sounds debt. like it. At least she'd have yeah. less of a gap to yeah. cover. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you told her to get a job. She said she was working up until 80. <laughs> She's I know. 86. <laughs> she said she was able-bodied with a car and can drive. You activated the entire troll network of Reddit. That's I think Dave hilarious. might be working at 86 doing something. It's hilarious. I will be, but I don't have to be. But um, Ugh. yeah. So here's the thing. Okay. The problem is, is that she's stuck and y'all are fishing around trying to figure out, and I would have been too, trying to figure out how to help her. I mean, because there's no good answer in her story. There's no like magic bullet. We, we don't, she we don't, we don't sell magic wands here, people. We have to deal with the math. We have to deal with your reality and facts are your friends, not feelings. And so I don't know about getting an extra job. That one's kind of funny. Well, that was before she told me about her health problems, well, to be fair. I don't care. She's 86. But um, so, yeah, sell the house is one option. That's a good option. And pay off the credit card debt. Um, two is don't pay the credit cards anymore. You're 86. Just don't pay them. What are they going to do? Sue you? What are they going to do? Take a lien on the house? Are they going to sell a house for credit card debt? No. So you just default on the stupid things is probably what I would do. Uh, and uh, Or sell the house, move down in house, and pay them off, one of the two. But, yeah, you, you know, I can't live with my daughter. I have a dog I can't afford. 
I have this. I can't afford. I have that. I can't afford, but I won't do anything about any of those. She was really not giving you all, you know, you're, you're trying to help her and she really wasn't giving you, she's not willing to do anything. I no, I can't live with my daughter. We have personality issues. No, I can't, you know, and I don't want to sell my dog. I love my dog and I don't want her to sell her dog, but also don't want you to not be able to eat. So prioritizing your budget when you're in that kind of a situation to say, first thing we do is eat foods first, lights and water second, uh, house payment or house property taxes, property taxes and insurance. anything associated with shelters, third transportation. If there is any fourth, uh, clothing, you shouldn't need many clothes in a situation. Um, and then you pay other bills. If you're out of money after you eat and pay your lights and water, you just don't pay the other bill. Don't pay the creditors until you figure out something to do to pay them, and that could be selling the house. It could be the kids chip in and start working with a credit card company. It could be you just let the cards go into the default. And um, now I'll be the cold one and let everybody pile on me too, because that's what happens around here. But um, if you're 86 and you're a leukemia recovering patient, um, statistically, you know, four years would be a long time to live. Let's, and by then they're not going to get around to doing anything if you just quit paying them, but cut up the credit cards and stop using them because continuing to use them with a plan to not pay them and die in debt is, uh, going to, uh, would be stealing. So you can't, you can't do that with integrity, but you could just stop paying them. They shouldn't have loaned an 86 year old broke person money. So that's what they get. Uh, you could just default on it. Um, and, and you know, she dies with it when she dies with it, the ca- house will be sold and the credit cards will get paid before any estate. money is distributed to her kid who she has personality issues with Oof. after being a single now, mom. Another option, which we do, forgot to mention on air is having a, a housemate, someone who lives there, maybe a young college student who gives her 500 bucks for rent. That would be great. That could solve some of these problems, at least for her, her you thought of that later, though. That was that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We couldn't get to everything. That's a better. That's better than the extra job I did. I agree. <laughs> I agree. In the moment, you know, I just hey man, balling. I've done thirty thousand hours of talk radio helping people. I mean, thirty years of doing this. More than thirty thousand hours. I'm sorry, it's tens of hundreds of thousands of hours for thirty years. I've done this show five days a week, three hours a day. So the number of times uh, I gave out advice that some of you didn't like is like every day some of you don't like the advice so what what you're going to find with the ramsey bunch george jade included is that we're here trying while you're sitting at home bitching so we're trying to help and you just over there in the internet and got an opinion so good luck with your opinion because we're going to keep trying over here do we get it right. right every time exactly no but we can laugh about it and go on and chill your butt out and go do something with your life people i heard you in my head saying you know my grandma used to say it was a great place to go when you're broke to work but That's i wasn't where talking I about from. grandma i heard grandma I about you. broke work i put three and three together <laughs> oh. That's where it came from. This is so bad. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life. 